Hello and welcome our fellow homo sapien friends and today we are back with part 2 of the big destiny news now as I said in my last video obviously there was so much information given out on that first one that I didn't want to do it all in one video because it would just take forever and you'd just get bored by the end of it so I'm trying to break it up so you get a fresh piece of mind and fresh piece of information and also I'm not overworking myself as well so this is the best possible scenario that I could come up with so we've got two part of today so what we're going to do today is we're going to go over some of the PvP changes some of the exotic weapon sandbox changes and we're going to go over the season 3 roadmap changes that are dropping with the war mine on May the 8th I've got the roadmap here for you to see now as you'll see in May we have the seasonal crucible ranking private matches vault space increase multi emote which is basically where we have you can select your own emotes for each different button now which is fantastic because I got bored of the other three and it was just annoying having to keep swapping the one over when you've got so many that you want to choose from uh, we're getting also a exotic masterwork weapons a seasonal vendor progression which you know it would be quite good if we could have some new armor new weapons and stuff like that to grind for with each new vendor at the moment that we've I've pretty much got all of them and it's just a bit boring so I've not really had anything to grind for in the game so if we could have like a fresh new overhaul of the armor and weapons in that that would be fantastic also we are getting exotic weapon sandbox changes which is what I'll go through uh, in a bit later on in the video we're also having the one thing that I'm really looking forward to which is heroic strike modifiers now I've been asking for this since day one of this release and we're only just getting it now I mean it's better than late than never I suppose and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it it'll actually give the heroic strike something to grind for and it'd be fun as well because like you'll have to switch out your loadout and have certain loadouts to to go through it and make it a, a little bit easier for you or make it a bit more challenging as well and finally we have the nightfall challenge cards now i've not done a nightfall in ages but that's because i haven't been on the game in ages so it would be interesting to get back into doing nightfalls each week especially as i've got three characters and i don't mind helping other people out through the nightfalls as well so if you are struggling for a fire team one time and you are on PS4 then just give me a shout and I don't mind helping you out. Next up we've got a bunch of new and old returning exotics for you as well and um, what I'm gonna do is just gonna do like a quick like a little montage thing for you and you can check through with me yourselves. I'm looking forward to some of the new ones, some of the old ones uh, I, I'm kinda hoping they make radical changes to some of them because I never used to use them I, it just seems like they're bringing a lot of egg, old exotics back that not many people used or at least I didn't use a lot of and that's a shame really because there are there are some good exotics out there that haven't been brought back yet but the only thing I'm concerned about is that we are getting quite a lot of the old exotics back like I'm pretty sure the cabal destroyed them when they destroyed the tower yet we seem to be getting a lot of the old exotics back by some sort of miracle I mean it is a shame we're not getting like a ton of new ones like every single one is new rather than returning old ones that we actually get but you know it, it, it is what it is and I'm not going to grumble about it so enjoy the show and I'll see you afterwards Now the reason I did it that way is because I have a trouble reading and talking at the same time so it would have just taken me forever to try and learn the names so I do apologize it might seem a bit lazy but that's just how I've done it uh, just to make it a bit easier on myself and make it less boring for you guys me trying to pronounce a name that I can't 
So that's why I did it that way. So we're going to swiftly move on to the PvP changes that are coming. Obviously we've already had the 6v6 already launch already, which has gone down a hit I think. Uh, I've not tried it, but this is just what I've heard from other people. They've enjoyed it and it's nice to have it back. So obviously there's going to be two Crucible rankings that are going to be dropping with the Warmind DLC. And obviously we're going to have Valor, which is for your more casual kind of PvP players like myself where losing games doesn't affect your score only wins so it, it's it's a, a little bit more laid back for those who don't really grind or sweat out the the pvp as much as most people do but for you sweaty pvp players there is a glory rank now this is more competitive and obviously your points go up with wins and go down with losses so it is important that you are on it basically you don't want to be the on the losing team too many times because your points will just keep going down and down and down and obviously rage quitting will actually count as a loss as well so that already penalizes you for quitting so be wary of that and obviously we've got private matches back again because I never really play PvP, it, I don't think any of this really affects me too much, but I just want to bring it to you guys so you guys are aware that what's going on with the PvP changes as well. Basically, we're having private matches back so you can get a good team of people together or you can challenge other clans now and just hash it out in the Crucible, which would be quite fun, I suppose, for very competitive clans that are out there at the moment. This would be quite fun for you guys. Maybe arrange some sort of tournament for it as well. I don't know, maybe like incorporate like a clan reward system for it as well. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below what you think maybe a, a clan based competitive PvP ranking would be alright. Where it affects your whole team and not just you. Maybe something like that would be quite cool. Now obviously with the glory rank, if you get the highest rank that you possibly can, there is a weapon that you can unlock. Now at the moment it's Redrick's Claymore. This gun looks pretty decent and it's got a new perk on it called Desperado. Now Desperado, perk for that is reloading while Outlaw is active increases your rate of fire. Now those of you who don't know what Outlaw is, Outlaw is precision kills greatly decrease reload time. You know that this weapon is going to be absolutely slaying in everything that it, it, it hits basically. So instead of like decreasing the reload time, you also, once you've reloaded, your your burst is faster and, and it doesn't lose any of its impact. So you can imagine this weapon is absolutely going to shred, but only the best of the best can get this weapon, which is actually great because I know that I'm never going to get this weapon, which is, you know, fine for me, to be honest. For those guys who are very competitive and want that grind to actually really work for a weapon that's actually going to be really good or deadly during whatever they're playing would be fantastic for you guys and uh, you know I, I can't wait to see gameplay of it now obviously with the new dlc we are getting two new crucible maps as well which will be you know fun for you guys and i, I wouldn't mind checking them out myself i know that these are probably going to be involved with the iron banner at some point so here are some of the weapons that are going to get a buff when the Warmind DLC actually drops. We've got the Fighting Lion, Graviton Lance, Risk Runner, Skyburner's Oath, Hard Light, Crimson, the Sturm. These are all weapons that are going to get a buff. Now, some of these weapons I don't personally use myself, and I think it's probably going to be a bit of a waste of time. It's probably not going to make me want to use them, especially when I've got other great exotic weapons that I could be using rather than this. So it would be nice to see some of the changes in there and maybe have some gameplay on this. So I will be giving them all a good show and maybe trying to do a, like a review on them or something. Maybe try and start something like that up on the channel. What do you think? Would you like to see a review on the exotic weapons? I could do a, a, I could do that. So that about do it for this video. Safe to say there's quite a lot coming with the Warmind DLC. Whether or not it'll be worth my t our time and effort and will actually be worth its money is yet to be seen. But I'm holding high hopes for the game and I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to the new DLC coming in May the 8th. So if there's anything in the video that you didn't agree with or you thought I'd missed out or anything like that, please don't be hesitating to comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I'm 
I'm interested to hear what you've got to say about this and even what you think of my channel, my videos. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you did, if you made it all the way, please hashtag spread the love at the end. Why not? Give it a go. Um, also, just subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to keep up to date with all my videos. Make sure you hit that bell. Yes, I know it's the bell from um, Sea of Thieves. I get laughed at quite a bit for doing this, but it's funny for me. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself and others, and bye-bye for now.